it would be good if you have some sort of props handy. So we will meet them more in the yin part, not really in the yang part of the practice, but just have them close by already. So it would be good if you have maybe a blanket, if you have maybe one or two blocks. If you don't have blocks, you can just use big books or anything else that can't have this shape. And then if you have something like a meditation cushion, it doesn't have to be a meditation cushion, it can just be a regular cushion, a regular pillow, whatever you have, just to kind of have a little bit of bolster. And I also like to have in the in practice because we're not moving much anymore. It does get a little bit cold, so I always like to have my socks in the jumper or something, just so you can stay warm in the in practice. We will get warm in the beginning of the class though. The yang part. Um, I also did send the Spotify link to the playlist. I chose to give you the link for my yin playlist. So this is usually the playlist I play in the second part only, but I didn't want to make it too complicated having two playlists. So if you like music, you can start off with the yin, practice, yin, yin playlist, even though we're doing the yang part first. Um, it's still really fitting. Okay, I think. If there is no more questions, we can start. So you can just come to your mat in your comfortable seated posture, maybe sitting a little bit elevated. If you want, you can sit on your blanket or your cushion. You can also just sit on the ground. Maybe it feels nice to bring your shoulders up towards your ears and then let them drop down, opening through your chest along your collarbones. Let's all take a deep inhale in together through the nose and then release out through the mouth. Let's do this again, inhale fully. And exhale, release. Close your mouth. And return to your normal natural breath in and out through the nose. Start by tuning in with your breath. Observing the inhalation and the exhalation. Start to deepen your breath now. Filling up your lungs all the way on the inhalation. Really letting your belly and your ribcage expand. And then releasing all the air out on the exhalation. The ribcage sinks back down. Your belly draws in slightly. Keep slowing down your breath.
Breathing in and out through the nose in a very conscious way. Really connecting with your breath. And try to maintain this connection to your breath for the whole practice. Whenever you notice that you lost the connection with your breath, re-establish it. Connect to your breath again, maybe taking a pause if you need to. Listening to your breath. Listening to your body. Take another deep inhale here. And then exhale, open your eyes. Start to move now forward, moving any props that you might were sitting on out of the way. Coming into your tabletop, starting to align yourself, your wrists are in line with your shoulders, fingers spreading wide, really pressing the ground away with your thumb and your index finger. Your knees are hip width distance apart in line with your hips. Starting with a few rounds of cat and cow to deepen the connection with our breath to warm up the spine. So on the inhale, tilt the pelvis forward, arch the spine, drop the belly, push the chest forward, look to the front. On the exhale, reverse the movements, so tilt the pelvis back, round through the spine, really draw the belly in, engaging your core, chin to the chest. Inhale, come back forward. Arch the spine, open the heart to the front. And exhale, reversing the movement. Leading from the tailbone, coming to the crown of the head last. Keep going now in your own breath. There's no need to rush through this movement. Try to make this movement slow and controlled. Sinking it to your slow and deep breath. Maybe you want to close your eyes. Then come back to neutral spine. Maybe step your left knee a little bit more into the center and then reach your right foot up. So keep your right leg bent. The foot is pointing up. Push your chest forward as if you wanted to touch the, um, the sole of the foot and the back of your head together. So you're pushing your chest forward. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, round through the spine. Draw the knee in, have the knee to the chest as if you wanted to bring the knee and the forehead together. Inhale, come back up. Arch the spine, look front. And exhale to round. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale up and exhale round. Take another inhale here in this rounded spine. And then exhale, release the knee back down. Straight away, changing sides. So bring your left leg up. Find your balance first. Ground down through your hands. Arch the spine. Open the chest forward. 
as if you want to touch the sole of the foot and the back of your hand. Inhale here. Exhale round. Slow controlled movement. Inhale up. Exhale round. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Hold the knee here. Hug it into the chest. Take another inhale. And exhale. Release the left knee back down. Walk your hands a little forward. Tuck your toes under. And lift your knees. Coming into plank press. So again, checking that your wrists are aligned with your shoulders. Your body is one straight line. Your core is active. Take an inhale here. Exhale, release the knees, chest and chin to the ground. Hold here, point the elbows back. Hug your arms into your body. Look forward. Release the tops of the feet now to the mat. Inhale, push yourself forward. Coming into Cobra. Take another inhale here, come a little higher. And then exhale, release the forehead to the mat. Bring your hands outside of your mat now, coming onto the fingertips. Your hands are in line with your shoulders. Forehead back to the ground. Inhale, roll yourself up. And exhale, roll back down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Listening carefully to your lower back. If you want, add in a twist. So inhale, twisting over to the right, looking over your right shoulder. Exhale down. Over to the left now. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale, right. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. Exhale, down. Stay down. Now place the hands back in line with your chest. Tuck your toes under. And push yourself back through child's pose into downward facing dog. Feel free to find some movement here. Bending the right leg, the left leg, swaying the hips from side to side. Trying to create the shape of an upside down V. Finding length in the spine, pushing the hips high. You can always keep a bend in your knees here. Inhale, push yourself back forward into plank. And exhale, come into downward. So we're doing this dynamic. Every inhale brings you forward to plank. Every exhale brings you back into downward facing dog. You can do this again in your own rhythm. On your next inhale, come forward into plank, stay here. And we're coming into side plank. So keep your right hand on the ground, come to the outside edge of your right foot. A few different options here. So if you want more support, place the left foot in front of you and then reach your left arm up. If you want to challenge yourself more, placing the left foot on top of the right. Deciding for yourself which variation works for you. Take another inhale wherever you are. And then exhale, come back into plank pose. Straight away, moving over to the left side. So the left hand stays on the ground. Outside edge of the left foot to the ground. Right foot can be in front of you or on top. Right arm reaches up. 
Right side of the hip pushes up. Inhale here. And exhale, come back, plank press. Take another inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, into downward facing dog. Take two deep breaths here, in and out through the nose. You look forward now. Take as many steps as you need to reach the front of your mat. Arriving in your forward fold. On your next inhale, sweep the arms forward and up. Push the hips forward, gently arching back. Arms in line with the ears. And then exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Look down to your feet now and decide if you want to have your feet together or feet a little wider, maybe hip width distance apart. Whatever gives you a better foundation, a more stable foundation in your standing postures. Decide for yourself, feet together or feet apart. Take a moment here, pausing, connecting to your breath. We'll flow through a few rounds of Surya Namaskar, sun salutations. We'll do the first round a little slower and then we'll pick up the pace doing one breath movement. Inhale, reach your arms up. Arching back, so try to push the hips forward, arms in line with your ears. On your exhale, folding all the way forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, step your right foot back. Lower the right knee down. Keep your toes tucked here. Try to open through your chest. Maybe that means your hands are not touching the ground. That's totally fine. So try to sink into the hips. Try to sit deep here. Maybe your hands are touching the ground, maybe not. Try to open your chest, relax the shoulders, look forward. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, hands down. Step it back into plank pose. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, come through, cobra. Exhale, into the downward facing dog. Take an extra breath here. Look forward. Inhale, step your right foot all the way forward. If it's hard for you to reach the right foot to the front, maybe use your right hand to step the foot forward. Left knee down, left toes stay tucked. Again, open your chest, shoulders down. Sit deep into your hips, inhale here. Exhale, hands down, left foot all the way forward. Uttanasana, forward fold. Option to keep your legs bent. Inhale, reach your arms up. Arch back. Exhale, hands to your heart. Doing the other side now. So inhale, sweep your arms up, arch back. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, left foot back, left knee down. Open your heart, drop the shoulders. Exhale, step the right foot back. Hold here in high plank. Inhale. And then exhale, lower knees, chest, and chin. Inhale, sliding through cobra. Exhale, into down block. Hold here, extra breath.
Look forward, inhale, left foot forward. Right knee down, heart open. Exhale, right foot all the way forward, fall forward. Inhale, come up to standing, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do another round. This time, one breath per movement, so a little, a little faster. Inhale, reach your arms up, arch back. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, right foot back, knee down, heart open. Exhale, step all the way back, plank pose. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, come through. Exhale, down dog. Inhale and exhale here. Look forward, inhale, right foot forward. Left knee down, heart open. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left side now, inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Knee down, heart open. Exhale, right foot back. Hold here in plank. Inhale. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Hold here. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. We'll do one more round. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right. Exhale, left, hold here, inhale. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, down block. Hold here. Look forward, inhale, right foot forward. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Left foot. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back. Knee down. Exhale, right foot back. Hold here. Inhale. Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, down dog. Hold here. Inhale, left foot forward. Exhale, right foot forward. Inhale, come up, arch back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Stay here for a moment, connect your eyes, close your eyes, connect to your breath. Letting your breath return to its slow and steady rhythm. Inhale here. And exhale, open your eyes again. Release your hands and bring your hands to interlace behind your back. 
So interlace your fingers, try to have the palms touching and draw the shoulders down and back. Maybe finding some distance here in between your hands and your buttocks already. Again, you can keep your feet together or a little wider apart, whatever works better for you. Inhale, open your chest, look up. And exhale, start folding forward from the hips. So you can bend your knees here. Folding forward. Maybe your belly and your thighs are connecting or touching here. Keeping your neck and your head relaxed. And then try to bring your arms, keep the hands interlaced, further away from your back to increase the sensations in the shoulders. Keep your breath deep. Maybe straightening the legs a little bit more, only if that works in your hamstrings. On your next inhale, lift your torso. At the same time, bend your legs so that you're coming into chair pose. Sit yourself deep. Keep the legs hugging in together, your core active. And then release the hands, draw your arms up now. Exhale, sitting a little lower. So your lower ribs are drawing in, your lower core is active. Bring your hands together at your heart now. Take an inhale here, lengthen your spine. And then exhale, twisting over to the right. So your left elbow comes to the outside of the right knee. Check that your knees are still staying in one line. Press the palms into one another and twist over to the right. On your next inhale, come back to the center, stay low, hands to the heart. And, and exhale, twisting over to the other side. So your right elbow now to the outside of the left leg. Again, keep your knees together. The right knee would like to come forward here, keep them in line. Press the hands together, twist over to the left. Still trying to breathe deep into the belly. Thereby massaging the inner organs. Inhale, come back to the center, hands to the heart. And then exhale, floating all the way forward. Now straightening the legs, this should be really nice. Letting your head hang. Inhale, lifting halfway, hands can come to the shins, long spine. Exhale, hands down, step it all the way back into high plank. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, lower all the way down onto the belly, maybe in one straight line. Untuck your toes. Release the head, the forehead to the ground. Bring the hands beside your body. Inhale, lift your chest, lift your arms. Keep the tops of the feet pressing into the ground, hips pressing into the ground. Maybe every inhale you're coming a little higher. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release. Maybe turning your head to one side. Prepare yourself for the second round so you can repeat the first variation. Or if you want, you can interlace your hands behind your back again. Bring the feet together so that your big toes are touching. And on your inhalation, now lifting your chest and your legs. 
Shalambhasana, Lotus Pose. Creating length all the way from the toes to the crown of the head. Activating all the muscles at the back side of your body. Inhale here. And exhale, release. So toes down, release your arms. Maybe make a pillow with your hands. Turn your head to one side. Breathing deep into the belly. Heading on, coming into bow pose now. So again, if you don't want to practice bow pose, you can stick with locus pose. So either one of the two previous variations. If you want to go into bow pose, bend your legs in. And we're doing a variation where we're keeping the thighs connected to the floor. So grabbing hold of your ankles from the outsides now. Keep your legs bent, keep your feet flexed. Inhale, lift your chest and your head by pushing the feet back into the hands. So keeping the thighs connected onto the floor here for this variation. By pressing the feet back into the hands, maybe you can lift your chest higher. Holding here for another three, two, And one more inhale. Exhale, release. Make your pillow with your hands. Turn your head to one side. Take a few deep breaths all the way down into the belly to massage your lower back. Maybe it also feels nice to gently shift your hips from side to side. Find some relaxing movement for your lower back. Come back to the center now. Place the hands in line with your chest. Tuck your toes under. Lift your knees, activate your whole body so all of the muscles along the body become active. Take an inhale here and then exhale, press yourself up and back, coming into downward facing dog. Maybe if your body is asking for it, find some movement here, making sure your head and your neck are relaxed. Your shoulders are drawing away from the ears. If you feel like it, you can flow through vinyasa. If you want to do that, on your inhale, come forward to play. On the exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, coming through. And exhale, meeting back in downward facing dog. Step your left foot a little bit into the center. Inhale, reach your right leg up. So keep the right leg as, as long and straight as you, as you can. Keep the right foot flat. Three legged down dog. Press the hands away. Take an inhale here. And then exhale, shift forward, coming into plank. Hug the right leg in towards your chest. So hold here, take a breath. And then slow with control, step your right foot in between your hands. Again, you can help yourself with your right hand. You want to have the right foot right in between the two hands. Keep your left hand on the ground, maybe on the um, palm touching the ground or on the fingertips. Inhale, reach your right arm up. 
Open your chest to the right, coming into a twist. Look towards the ground now. We're going to come up to standing. So looking to the ground helps you keep the stable foundation through the legs. On your next inhale, lift yourself up, coming into high lunge with a twist. So left hand is reaching forward, right hand is reaching back. Inhale, reach your right hand forward. Arms up, high lunge. And then exhale, open into warrior two. Adjust your feet, maybe straighten your right leg for a moment. And then sit deeper again. So bending the right leg 90 degrees, sinking deeper into the hips, arms parallel for warrior two. Inhale, flip your right palm up, reach forward. And then exhale, reverse your warrior. Try to stay low in your right leg, in your hips. Your left hand can be on the left leg for support, or maybe you're reaching the left hand forward towards the right thigh, going into the bind. Inhale, come back up. And exhale, both hands down to the ground. Left heel is lifting. Walk your right foot out to the side. Coming into lizard lunge. Hands are on the ground. And we want to find movement here first, warming up through the hips. So shift forward and backwards a few times. Then straightening the right leg. Maybe swaying your hips from side to side. So there isn't really any right or wrong way to do this. Listen to your body and check, check in with yourself what, body, what your body is asking for right now. What movement feels good in your legs and your hips. Come back to the center now, release the left knee, untap your left toes. Decide if you want to stay here on your hands or if you want to come down onto the forearms. If you do have blocks or a book, you can also place the prop underneath your forearms. Just an option. Try to keep your right knee and your right ankle in one line, right knee hugging into your right shoulder. Try to keep the spine long. Take three more breath here. Really sinking into the hips. Prepare yourself to come out of the posture. So if you were on the forearms, come back onto the hands. If you were using props, move them out of the way. Tuck your left toes under. And we've done this before. So we're coming into side plank. Find your version, find your way in. So left hand stays on the ground. Outside edge of the left foot comes to the ground. Maybe your right foot is in front of you. Maybe your right foot is on top of the left. Right arm comes up. Push the right side of your hip up. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, right hand down. Hold here, inhale. Exhale, knees, chest and chin. Inhale, sliding through, cobra. And exhale into down dog. Deciding for yourself if you want to spend the next five breaths here in down dog 
Or if you notice that you've come out of breath, maybe you want to come into child's pose before we move over to the other side. Listen to your body, listen to your breath. You were in child's pose, slowly come back into downward facing dog. Just your hands and your feet. Maybe stepping your right foot in a little to the center now. Inhale, reach your left leg up. Try to straighten the left leg, flex the left foot. Hands press the mat to the Try to keep your hip close, left side of the hip rotating down. Inhale here. And exhale, come forward into plank, hugging the left knee into the center. Maybe even rounding through your spine here a little bit. Take another breath here. And then step the left foot in between the hands. Make sure the left foot is all the way forward. Right hand stays on the ground. Maybe you're coming onto the fingertips with your right hand. Inhale, reach your left arm up, open through your chest to the left. The legs are very active here. Your right knee is drawing up. And then look towards the ground. Prepare yourself for the transition. So find an active, stable foundation through your feet. And when you're ready, lift yourself up into high lunge with a twist. So the right arm is reaching forward. The left arm is reaching back. Maybe you can sit yourself a little lower into your hips, twisting a little deeper. Inhale, reach your left arm forward, arms up. And then exhale, open your arms out, open your feet, coming into warrior two on the left side. So your left leg is bending. Maybe you want to give it a little break, straighten it for a moment, but then sit deep into your hips. Arms are parallel. Your shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, flip your left hand up, reaching forward, and then exhale, coming into reverse warrior. Stay low in your legs, in your hips. The right hand can be on the right leg, or maybe you're reaching the right hand back, coming forward into the left thigh, if you want to go for the bind. Inhale, come back up, warrior two. Exhale, both hands to the ground. Lift your right heel and walk the left foot out to the side. So both hands are on the inside now. Find your movement again to warm up more through the hips. Again, this could look any shape that you feel your body's asking for. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Finding circles, it's possible as well. And then come back forward. Lower the right knee down and hug your toes. Maybe slide the right knee a little further back. Checking that you're keeping your left knee and the ankle in one line here. 
Decide for yourself how deep you want to go into the posture. Perfectly fine to stay on the hands. Maybe if you did so on the first side, coming down onto the forearms or using props here underneath your elbows. Make this work for you. Wherever you are, try to not round too much, but send the heart forward. Keep the spine as long as you can. You can look to the ground though to keep the neck relaxed. Taking three more conscious deep breath here. And slowly come back onto your hands if you are on the forearms. Tuck your right toes under. Again, lift your right knee and come into your version of side plank. So your right hand stays on the ground. Outside edge of the right foot comes to the ground. Maybe left foot is in front of you or left foot is on top of the right. Try to reach your left arm up. Push the left side of your hip up. Take another inhale here. And exhale, come back into plank pose. Hold here. And then flow through your vinyasa. So knees, chest, and chin down on the exhale. Coming through into cobra on the inhale. Exhale, come back into downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. And then exhale, lower down onto the forearms. So forearm plank. Check that you have your elbows in line with your shoulders again. Your forearms are parallel. If this is quite intense, you can always lower the knees down as well. But try to not shift the weight back. Stay in line. Um, keep your elbows and your shoulders in line. Wherever you are, we're taking three more breaths. Inhale here. And then exhale, bring the hips down, untuck your toes, come into swings pose. So again, checking that your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Keep your fingers spreading wide even here. Pull the elbows, the forearms back towards you. At the same time, push the, push the chest forward. Try to draw the shoulders down and back. Pubic bone and the tops of the feet are pressing into the ground. Maybe closing your eyes. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, open your eyes again. Shift your gaze down now. Interlace your fingers again. Maybe bring your little finger under, um, bring your little finger in so you're not um, pressing all the way down onto the little finger. So you're creating a triangle now with your forearms. Still try to maintain for the next posture. The elbows in line with the shoulders, so don't let the elbows come up to the sides. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, and we're coming back into dolphin pose. So lift the hips high, maybe starting to walk the feet in, push the chest back, pushing out of your forearms, so pushing the ground away with your forearms. Don't let the crown of the head touch the ground. Keep your head off the ground. Maybe you can walk your feet in a little bit more.
Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release the knees down. Untuck your toes, sit yourself back into child's pose. Bring the hands beside your body with palms facing up towards the feet. Forehead is on the ground, resting here, relaxing the shoulders and your arms. Connecting to your breath again, your slow and deep, steady breath. Slide your hands forward again. We're coming into a second round of dolphin pose. So again, interlace your fingers. Check that you're creating this nice triangle with your forearms, your elbows are not too close, not too far out. Maybe if you want to check, you can hug your hands, you can clasp your hands around your upper arms. You do want to be able to clasp the fingers actually around the arms. Release the hands again, create this triangle. And then when you're ready, tap your toes under, lift the knees, lift your hips and push yourself up, coming into dolphin voice again. Your heels can come off the ground here, coming more onto the toes, the balls of the feet. Decide for yourself if you want to stay here or if you want to go further. If you want to add on, if you still have strength in your arms, your body, your core, maybe reaching the right leg up, extending the leg high. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, release the foot, changing sides. Inhale, left leg up, extend the leg, reach the foot high. Press the ground away, still with your forearms. Crown of the head is not touching the mat. Inhale here. And exhale, release. Take one more inhale in dolphin pose. And then exhale, release your knees down, untuck your toes, child's pose again. Hands coming towards the feet, forehead resting on the mat. Maybe it feels nice now to take a deep inhale in through the nose. And then open the mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> Letting everything go. Bringing awareness to your breath again, your conscious breath in and out through the nose now. We are now transitioning from the yin part to the yin part. Before we actually enter into yin posture, we find a little bit more movement just to relax the shoulders and the spine. So slide your arms forward, lift your head, and then walk your hands over to the left. Coming into a side stretch, maybe you want to place the right hand on top of the left and then let your head sink towards the ground again. Try to keep your hips connected to your heels. Take a few conscious breaths into your side body, your right side. Inhale, lift your head again. And walk back to the center and then over to the other side. Maybe placing the left hand on top of the right to deepen, lowering the head towards the ground again, and feeling the sensation along the left side of your torso. Take 
taking three conscious breaths here. Inhale, lift your head. And then exhale, come back to the center. Come into tabletop now. Wrist in line with your shoulders again. Inhale, reach your right arm up. Open your chest to the right, look up. And then exhale, coming into thread the needles. So your right arm is coming through over to the left side, right shoulder is coming to the ground. Right, right side of the head is relaxing on the ground. You can keep your left hand where it is. Or if you want to go further, maybe reaching the left arm up. Or if you have the bind in your practice, you can bring the left hand reaching for your right thigh, opening through your chest. Again, taking three conscious breaths here. Placing your left hand back in line with your face. Inhale, come back up, reach your right arm up, open the chest. And exhale, release, right hand down, changing the sides. Inhale, left arm up, open the chest. And exhale, over to the other side. So left arm comes over to the right, left side of the head and your shoulder come to the ground. Hips are staying high. Decide what variation you want to do with your right arm. Prefer to the same one that you did on the first side. Three more conscious breaths. Placing the right hand back in line with your face. Press yourself up on the inhalation. And then exhale, release the left hand. We're coming now into our first yin posture called melted heart. I like to place a little bit of cushioning underneath my knees. So if you have sensitive knees, you can maybe fold up your mat or place your blanket underneath the knees. As I said before, we will be staying in the postures, in the yin postures, for an extended period of time. Try to stay in the stillness of the posture for the whole time, but if you do feel that it's getting too intense, feel free to come out on your own. I also won't be giving that much verbal instructions during the yin practice, because I want to give you the time to really go inwards to Listen and feel your breath and stay connected with the physical experience of the posture. Okay, so in the melted heart posture, there's a few different variations. Decide for yourself how far you're going to go. I'll demonstrate the first one first. So come um, with your hands walking forward. Keep your hips in line with your knees. Lower your chest to the ground. Lower your forehead to the ground. You do want to feel this in the chest, the armpits, maybe in the shoulders. Again, remember there's no need to go as deep into the posture as you can. Keep your forehead on the ground. I'm just turning my head over to the side so you can feel me better. Working on sending the chest closer to the ground and trying to find relaxation in the posture. So don't push, don't pull, don't engage your muscles. Try to keep your muscles as soft as you can. 
I just want to demonstrate the other variation if there is someone where this posture is quite um, it's not so challenging anymore. You could also tuck your chin forward and look forward. It's very hard to talk in this posture, so I'll just quickly demonstrate and then I'll go back to the previous variation so you can actually hear me. If you want to go further, tuck the chin onto the ground and look forward. So settle into your version of this posture now and then try to maintain stillness. Only moving if your body is really asking for it, if you can no longer hold the posture in stillness. Still focus your awareness on your breath, but there is no need anymore now to constrict your breath, to force your breath. You can still breathe in slightly slower and deeper than you usually would. Maybe focusing on breathing into the belly to signal the body that it's fine to relax. Stay very present with the physical experience of this posture. You are experiencing very intense sensations in the shoulders or maybe even a tingling in your hands. Maybe this posture is too much for your shoulders. In that case, maybe it helps you to bring your hands a little wider, maybe as wide as the back. We're taking five more breaths in this posture. Then slowly, with very mindful movement, maybe even keeping your eyes closed, start to come out of the posture, whichever way works for you. And just for a brief moment, come into child's pose again, sliding your hands back towards the feet. Keep your forehead on the ground. Your palms are facing up.
Maintain awareness of your shoulders. Noticing how the sensations fade away. Decide for yourself if you want to stay in this posture or if you want to transition onto your belly. After each and every in posture, we're always coming into a brief relaxation. Just to really allow the effect of the posture to come into being in our body. Kind of pressing the reset button before we move into the next posture. You are coming onto the belly. Decide if you want to have the arms beside you or make a pillow. Maybe letting the heels fold up to the sides. Again, with very mindful movement, press yourself back up into your tabletop position. If you want, you can move the blanket out of the way. You might need it for the next posture as extra support cushioning. We're coming into swan. So from our yang yoga practice, we might know this posture as pigeon. So starting on the right side, slide your right knee forward, bring it close to your right wrist. The foot is coming out to the left side. Check that you have enough space behind or in front of you. And then walk your left foot and the left knee further back. Check that your left leg is long and straight, one straight line behind you. If you notice that your hip is quite high off the ground here, this is totally fine. If this is okay for you, you can stay here with your hip covering. If you do have some support, maybe the blanket or the cushion, you can place that underneath your hip. This might make it more comfortable. Check that your both hips are squared forward at the same way. So you don't want to lean over to the right or lean over to the left too much. You want to have your hips in the same height, the same neutral position, looking forward. We will stay in this upright posture for a few breaths. So gently check in with your lower back how this feels. There is a marked compression in the lower back, which is totally fine, which is actually quite beneficial, quite healthy for the lower back. But you do want to be, you don't want it to be any pain. So if you want to go a deep, if you want to experience a deeper compression, maybe you can walk your hands in a little bit more, but again, be very gentle and listen carefully to your lower back, staying in this upright posture for a little longer, making sure that your muscles, especially your left leg and your left glute muscle, this one here, stay relaxed. Maybe closing your eyes. And also listening carefully to your right knee. If you are experiencing any pain in the right knee, make an adjustment. Feel free to close your eyes already.
And take one more inhalation here. And exhale, start walking your hands forward. Decide how far you want to go into the forward fold. So maybe if you have some sort of cushion that you can place underneath your torso, you can use that. If you know you can come all the way down, you can also do that. Again, make sure that your hips are staying square, that you're not leaning over to one side. Settling into the stillness of the posture now. Maybe even mentally saying to yourself, I will not move. I will remain in stillness. Just being okay with whatever physical sensations arise. Only moving if there is pain in the body. Begin practice is a really nice way, nice way to practice yoga, to really go inwards. Practicing to observe and notice what's happening in the body. Practicing to surrender and to let go. The more you can relax and soften through your muscles and your body. more beneficial the postures get. We're taking five more breaths in the posture. Then slowly transition out of the posture. Slow, controlled, mindful movement, no rush. So to come out of the posture, tuck your left toes under, slide the knee a little forward again. Coming back into a tabletop, and maybe it feels nice to extend your right leg all the way back. 
maybe finding just a little bit of movement before you transition onto your belly. Coming into the pause again after the posture to feel the effect of the posture. To give the body some time to integrate. Press the reset button. Keeping your full awareness focused inwards, noticing how your right leg, the right hip feels compared to the left side. And then prepare yourself to come back into tabletop so that we can transition to the other side. When you're ready, slide your left knee forward, coming to the left wrist. The right foot is over, the left foot is over to the right now. Moving slow and mindful. So slide the right knee further back and tuck your toes. Again, checking how your hips are doing on this side. If you did so on the first side, maybe you need some support underneath your left hip here. Sometimes you also notice that your hips are different. This is actually quite normal, nothing to worry about. One side tends to be a little more open. And then come to this upright posture first. Checking again that your hips are squared forward equally, You're not leaning over to one side or the other. Bring awareness to your lower back again and see if you can maybe walk your hands in a little bit more, become a little bit more upright to increase the compression on the lower back. Keep your muscles along your legs and your right glutes soft. Take another inhalation here. And then exhale to walk yourself back forward. Maybe you're coming onto the forearms. Maybe you're using your props to cushion again. Maybe you come all the way down onto the belly with your head resting on the ground. Find your variation. And then settle into stillness. Making a conscious effort to relax your whole body. All of the muscles are soft. Even the muscles in your face, your jaw and the tongue in your mouth are relaxed.
Keep your awareness focused in on yourself, the experience of the posture. From time to time, you might notice that your mind has started wandering, that the daydreaming has started. That's quite natural. Whenever you notice that that happened, just bring your awareness back, maybe observing the breath for a little while, and then returning to the physical sensations. Without judging, without labeling, just observing. Taking five more breaths here. And slowly, mindful movement, find your way back up. Maybe coming back into a tabletop. If you do feel like extending the left leg out. Maybe even finding a little bit of movement if this is what your body is asking for. Otherwise, you can transition onto your belly already. Let's all pause again on the belly. Bringing the awareness again into the legs and the hips. Again, noticing how the left side now feels compared to the right. Noticing how the sensations fade away, how they change. And then extend one arm forward and roll yourself onto your back. You do tend to get cold. Are you putting on your socks or your jumper now? 
We'll have one last posture and then we'll transition into Shavasana. So for the last posture, we're coming more into a restorative posture, reclined butterfly. So bring the soles of the feet together, open your knees out to the sides. So if this is quite intense for your hips, you can also place maybe your books or your blocks or your cushions underneath your thighs just to have some extra support here. So this is more of a restorative posture a relaxed posture. If you do want to experience a deeper sensation in your hips, your inner thighs, you can do this without the blocks or the props. Up to you. Place one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly, closing your eyes again. Bring awareness to your hand on your belly. Noticing your breath in the belly. You can completely let go of your breath now. Letting it return to the natural flow. And shift your awareness to your heart space, connection of your hand and the heart. Maybe you can even feel your heartbeat. Deciding for yourself now if you want to stay here for the remainder of the practice or if you want to move into Shavasana. Moving slowly. If you want, into, if you want to go into Shavasana, extend your both legs out, maybe one leg after the other. Bringing the feet about as wide as the mat and let them fall out to the sides. You can keep your hands where they are or relax the hands next to your body, slightly away from your body, palms facing up. Checking if you need to make any last little adjustment to your posture so that you can arrive in complete stillness again. As if you're releasing the weight of your body down into the mat, into the ground.
breath by breath, the body is becoming more and more heavy. With every out breath, you're sinking deeper into the relaxation. Mentally count down now to yourself from 10 to zero. With every out breath, you're releasing, you're letting go a little bit more. Diving deeper into the relaxation. Starting now, count backwards from 10 to zero to yourself. You are completely relaxed. Your whole body is completely relaxed and heavy. Sinking down into the ground. Guide your awareness now back to your breath. Taking in a few deeper inhalations. Bringing movement back to your fingers and your feet. Your wrists and your ankles. And be turning your head from side to side. Waking up your body again. Maybe reaching your arms over the head. Interlacing the fingers once more. Turning the palms out. Bring the feet together. Inhale here to stretch. And exhale, release. 
Bend your bow's legs in and roll over onto your favorite side. Pausing here again just for a moment. And then when you're ready, with eyes still closed, come back up to your seated posture of choice. Finding an upright position again, long straight spine, shoulders relaxed. Connecting your hands together at your heart. And gently bowing your head forward, chin towards the chest. When you're ready, open your eyes again. Arrive back in your space. Releasing your hands. 